Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. Today what I'm doing today, I am fixing the messed up that I did. But well, before I tell you, like, hit share, hit like, and sh like everything that I do. Hit it up. Like I said today, going by that post, it's not a perfect YouTube channel. I made it as I go. So last week, my last video. I did the K20 killer, but I forgot to put this on, right? Thumbs up, share, like, share the video, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's make it happen. So last week, um, I did the VTEC killer, I did everything, took it apart, put the timing. But today, usually when I recommend when you are working on cars, and especially something like this that we're building, um, I know I made a mistake. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna take the timing cover off and I'm gonna look all again at the timing. And I'm also gonna look over that area. Make sure I'm double checking my work, make sure that everything is good. And after that, I'm gonna be done with this. And I got a new good news already ordered, it's already on her way here. It's gonna be the electric water pump. It's the first electric water pump that I'm doing on this channel. So <clears throat> kind of excited about that. And it's gonna come. We're gonna install it here. Uh, I'm gonna have to redo a couple hoses because um, if I'm right, this hose right here is not longer gonna be used. I was looking at the pentagram on it. This is not always not gonna be used either. The reason why this tensioner and this is gonna go with this. The new one is all this is gonna be gone. The new one got the hose right here come down from here. And then all this will be gone. So all this monstrosity right here is going to be gone. And then I have to wire a water pump to the system. The pump is $300 by itself. The, the other kit comes out of $600 plus dollars. Almost have a hundred dollars set, set up. Um, doing that, I, we order a new oil cap with the, with the tubing for the cooling pump. Um, but today I'm going to take this apart. All this I'm probably gonna take it again out and I'm gonna install the alternator that I took it out. I should not install the alternator today because I got the other parts coming in and I have to take this out anyway. So I, I'm gonna hold on on that. But I am taking this out. Taking this out, all this out is gonna come out. And let's verify my timing and then verify everything that I did underneath there to make sure it's good. All right, so keep in touch. Let's do this. Alright guys, so my timing is good, my timing in the bottom is good, everything all is good here, everything is nice and tight, just making sure that everything is tight before they do the last assembly again. Now you can see I put already some silicone in here when I did the oil pan, so I'm going to have to scrape that out, scrape all this out here too. Put new silicone here and new silicone there and put everything back together, new silicone here and put all that back together so tensioner is good ready to go belt is good and nice and tight 
the other tensioner is good. So basically this is what a K24 with a tight pass pump might look like. Uh, the only difference between my K, this K24 and that we're using a turbo pan for bigger oil consumption. That's gonna hold 6.6 .6 quart oil. Timing is good. If you look at the markings on this car, right here and here, those are the original markings and you have another one here. Everything has to be marked up the right way to go. Um, after I'm done with this, I wanna check everything on top, make sure everything is nice and tight. It should be, but I'm just gonna give it a second shot. So now, the only thing I have to do is clean, 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 and get it done. All right, so stand by. All right, guys, everything's back to normal, back to the full soon. Um, I didn't want to bother you guys with all me scraping all this and put it all back. All the silicone is there already done. Um, I'm going to let it dry for 20, 72 hours or so. Just putting everything back it was supposed to. Make sure that all your gaskets are back on. I already replaced my mistake. left to do is basically put the valve cover on it on the motor but I want to clean up this real quick turn it up um, I need to replace oil pressure switch the VTEC solenoid uh, sensor and you know without this you make your whole life worse Put it in. Yeah. See, let's push it all in. That goes right there. That goes right there. So, before I put that back on, I'm gonna clean this up. Guys, that was a mistake that I make on my, on this K24 killer. I made that mistake. I hope you guys don't do that. But sometimes when you get tired and you're working on a ride or a, or a motor for a while, you just want to finish it. I didn't that day I didn't want to leave it everything on the floor because I bring my CRX every night to the garage. At uh, that site, the um, gave me a chance to verify everything that I did from my timing. Would be a perfect choice. Everything connected. You know, no movement here, no movement on the bottom. Gave me a chance to redo everything that I got. Make sure that everything that I did was right, and then that's a double checkup for me. And now the only thing I have to do, basically ensure that everything that I got here is tied up, and I did, because I did tie everything down. But also I adjusted the way it's supposed to. So, you know, the next step, I'm put the valve cover back on. Uh, after I change that up, um, and that's it. Next, next time you're gonna see us working on a electric water pump and that's gonna come I gotta change a couple sensors like this one that one one the cam in the back and this ugly thing it's gonna be out, out of here and um, move on to the next next step on the evolution of K24s K20 guys thank you for watching 
Short video. Love you guys. Hit subscribe. I'll see you guys later.